Hello everyone, this is Ben from iPhone Builder. I just wanted to create a video today to show you how to use Zoho Reports. Um, so it's a new reporting tool that some of our customers have come across with and they're having a lot of success using it. So I wanted to kind of show how to get iPhone Loader data into Zoho and make a simple report on here. And, and there's many more things you can do in Zoho, which I will show. Um, but to get started, I just want to have iPhone Builder open as well as Zoho. Um, so once you're in Zoho here into this Explorer, I can click New and a new table is what I want to create. So from here you have many options to create a new table. We're actually going to choose Import from Files and Feeds from here. And then we're going to call this Building Inspection Parent is the name of the form. And from here we want to go in and choose the file type of JSON. You can give it a description or some tags if you like. Um, but once you do that, once you select JSON, you want to select Web because the file will be on the web here. And what we're going to do is go into iPhone Builder, click on the parent form that you want to use, and if you shift and click on the JSON, it'll bring up the JSON URL. So this is the live data feed. Um, you want to enter the URL on here, and then at the end you want to put and username equals your username, and your password equals your password. Now, once I finish that, then I can select Next. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to pull in all the data from iPhone Builder for this building inspection form. Um, but what we want to do is we actually want to uncheck all of the, the ones that are, are not parent records, because this one does have a lot of subform records attached to it. So we'll keep moving over here. Still in our metadata, you'll see there's a modified user. Here's some of our field data. And then from here, We'll make it to a little farther, and we'll see we have record exterior inspection record ID here. So we want to uncheck all of these boxes all the way over, so there is a bunch of these, so bear with me. All right, now we want to select Create. Now what it's going to do is it's going to pull in all the columns and all the different rows that we have. So if I select close here, then we'll be able to see all the data directly in this table behind us. Um, so right now, I mean, it can auto-generate a report from this current data, so I'm actually going to do that if I select yes. It's going to add a bunch of reports here, and, and we can look at these after. Um, so here is the parent table we imported. Um, so you'll see we have all of our metadata associated here, and then we go over into our data that was collected on the form anything from the building names to the inspector names, signatures, all this information here is, is easily accessible and viewable. Um, so now what we want to do is we actually want to bring in a new table. We want to bring in the subform table and relate those two tables together. So again, same way, I did create new table, import from feeds or files. I'm going to call this building inspection exterior sub. Now again, this is going to be a JSON. It's going to be coming from the web as well. And let me actually just grab the building exterior. If I shift and click again on the JSON, copy this in here. And username equals your username. And password equals your password. Now from here again, we can click Next. It's going to bring in all these subform data fields, which we don't have to uncheck any of them this time because these are all the ones that we want in here. And if we select Create and select Close again, and then we'll be able to see all the data for this one too. So we're not going to generate reports for this one just because it is, is subform data. Um, so if we scroll over, we'll be able to see all the different pass-fails for each of these questions here and their results. So now that we have all the data in here, we want to relate these two tables. So what you'll want to do is select Edit Design. And to relate these tables, you want to look at the parent record ID, go over into this lookup column here, select the drop down list. And inside of here, you're going to see a list of all the different fields in the building inspection parent table we imported. You want to select ID. So, what we're doing in this case is we're relating the parent record ID to that ID that I just selected. Once that, that's done, you select OK. Now these two are related. So we can just save this, and it's going to save those modifications. So now when we are viewing data in our parent form, we can actually go in and view the subform data associated with that specific record as well. 
Um, so once that is in the Zoho, there's a few things you can do. Um, the first here I just want to show you is some of the, the basic analysis that comes with it. Um, so this is some of the analysis it made on that parent record. If I open up the uh, record ID .analysis, this is actually going to analyze every single option in here. So you'll see it's saying record modified by. It looks like BRAY demo modified this the most, and here's the different users that have collected data. Um, again, it does it by each specific field or specific field. I'm sorry, in inside of their parent ID. So this is just a report that was generated on the fly here, and we can see some pretty cool information here. So Ray demo, what all, how many they collected, ICT Expo, I mean, and so on. There is a lot of good information you can use in here. Um, you can also build single reports here. Um, so you'll see that they have built one or two s simple ones here, and this is showing what buildings were inspected most and, and how frequently. So you'll see these are different buildings that were people, people entered. McGowan got a lot. Office got a little bit. So again, this is just one of the reporting options here, and this video shows how to take iPhone Builder data and push it into Zoho for a robust reporting experience. Let us know if you have any questions by commenting below. Thanks.